Once upon a time, in a faraway land, there lived a young sorcerer named Ethan. Ethan loved to practice magic and spend time in his potions workshop, creating new spells and mystical concoctions. One day, as Ethan was cleaning up his workshop, he accidentally knocked over a shelf containing jars of multicolored goo. The jars smashed on the floor, spilling their contents everywhere. As the goo mixed together, it began glowing and bubbling. Ethan watched in amazement as the goo transformed into a magical, sparkly slime with all the colors of the rainbow. When Ethan touched the slime, it began to glow even brighter. He felt a surge of energy rush through his body. Somehow, this was no ordinary slime, it was enchanted. Ethan scooped up the slime and placed it into a new jar for safekeeping. He knew he had created something very special. From that day on, Ethan began experimenting with the magical slime. He discovered it could do extraordinary things no other slime could. The slime could change its color on command and light up a room with its dazzling glow. It could also change its texture to be foamy, crunchy, or stretchy. No matter how much Ethan played with it, the slime never dried out or lost its magic. Word of Ethan's wondrous invention soon spread throughout the land. People began traveling from all over to see the magical slime for themselves. Sir Blaine, a brave knight, rode for three days through treacherous forests until he arrived at Ethan's workshop. Princess Sophie lugged heavy trunks filled with the kingdom's rarest gems just to trade for a bit of the magical slime. Even the wise old wizard Adelaide came to witness the miracle Ethan had created. Everyone was amazed by the rainbow slime's mystical properties and begged Ethan to let them take some back to their kingdoms. At first, Ethan was happy to share his incredible creation. But soon, he realized how dangerous it could be if the slime fell into the wrong hands. Lady Brooke, an evil enchantress, snuck into Ethan's workshop when he was away and stole a glob of the rainbow slime. She used its powers to take over the kingdom. The slime gave her an endless supply of magic and made her nearly unstoppable. Ethan knew he had to get the slime back before Lady Brooke caused any more destruction. Ethan gathered his fellow sorcerers and knights and led them into battle against Lady Brooke's army. The evil enchantress put up a fierce fight by using the slime against them. She hurled slime bombs that exploded into sticky nets, trapping Ethan's men. She even summoned slime monsters that oozed toward Ethan, trying to engulf him in their gloopy bodies. Just when it seemed all hope was lost, Ethan remembered the slime's one weakness, it did not like the cold. He shouted a chilly ice spell, sending freezing winds toward Lady Brooke and the slime. The slime hardened and became brittle, unable to move or fight any longer. With the slime's power drained, Ethan was able to defeat Lady Brooke and reclaim the magical slime once and for all. From that day forward, Ethan vowed to protect the mystical rainbow slime and use its powers only for good. He shared small amounts with his most trusted friends, like Sir Blaine, Princess Sophie, and Wizard Adelaide, but kept the bulk of it safely hidden away. Thanks to Ethan and the magical slime, the land was peaceful once more. And they all lived happily ever after.